Hey, this is Rick. Welcome back to my channel, Rick Loves Maria. I'm back in uh, eastern Pennsylvania at our drop yard in Ben Salem and I hauled a load of salt down here from Ohio. The ironic thing is I got stuck on I-80 due to the ice. There was an accident up on 80 and I got delayed getting here. Uh, and uh, I just find it ironic. I'm hauling salt when I get when I get stuck by ice, and it's a it was a freak April storm uh, that that happened. At one point, I was driving, and it was like a blizzard. I mean, it was it was just tracks on the road, and the road was covered except for those tracks in both lanes, and visibility was almost zero. You could barely see um a quarter mile and uh i was we were going pretty slow at, at one point up there but um there was a wreck they shut down i-80 in both directions and it made the news and it cost me a couple hours of time so anyway uh whatever so, but I, I made it down here to Ben Salem to the drop yard, dropped that load off. Someone else is going to relay it to the customer. So it's all right. Um, salt. <laughs> so anyway, that's what's going on today. Um, what's going on in the Philippines? Um, they got everything. As far as I know, everything's good over there. Um, Maria bought some donuts and the girls were excited to get some donuts. So I think everything's well over there. So, uh, she said it was hot, really hot over there. Uh, so I kind of wish I was over there. It's <laughs> this cold air over here. I mean, it's like crazy cold here and over there it's hot I, I i can i can handle the heat i'll sweat i don't care I'll, I'll take the heat any day over the cold you know especially when you know you know there's a beach over there within a couple hours drive you can always get to the beach you know and enjoy the enjoy the the salt water to me that's a lot of fun so i really miss being over there and I can't wait to get back over there. So, uh, last night I, I made it as far to a fuel stop, um, I think near, um, it's in Pennsylvania. It was east of Hershey. Is it Mechanicsburg? Anyway, I made it to a Love's there. Got me a shower and a sub from Subway. And um, after that, I only had like about 50 minutes on my clock. So I just parked it there and didn't try to go any further east last night. Because I don't know any of the truck stops in the Philadelphia area, especially around 5 o'clock traffic in the afternoon. I don't, I'm not familiar with the the where the truck stops are in that area and yeah i could search on my phone and find it but you can't um you can't expect to get anywhere in rush hour traffic around philadelphia in a big truck so i just didn't even want to risk it i just stayed right there got a good shower woke up feeling fresh this morning and ready to go i made it to ben salem here and then we relayed the the load of salt onto uh only 15 20 minutes away where it's got to go so i'll be waiting here until midnight hopefully they'll assign me my next load and hopefully assign me somewhere good to go on the next one that's the interesting other interesting thing about this job is you never know where you're going to get to go from one uh load to the next uh you know uh, they bring them in here and drop off trailers and you never know where you're you're gonna get to be assigned to go. One time I was assigned a trailer out of here that went down to Jacksonville, 
Florida. It was Volkswagen parts. <laughs> and there was a snowstorm coming in, and I had to go all a thousand miles, you know, down I-95 to Jacksonville. And I wished I had started my day a little sooner that day because um, south of me down in Richmond, Virginia and Washington, D.C., that snowstorm had already started to come in before I woke up and it was starting to get slushy on the roads. And yeah, I, I made it okay, but um, I had snow covering the radar thing on the front of the truck. And once it covers that, you you lose some capability in, in the truck as far as some smart technology capability. So um, anyway, uh, I'm enjoying the new truck. It's working out good. Um, yeah, I think in the Philippines, I think uh, uh, Zoe's finishing up school. I understand she's got some final exams, so I'm really wishing her well on that stuff. Um, I think uh, I, I think she's finishing up. Uh, I, I think it's her first year. I, I want to say of high school, so um, that's exciting. Um, wishing her what really well on that. So yeah, they're it's at, I, this would be their their summer break. Uh, hopefully, all the girls did well in school this year and get to move up. I'm sorry I don't get to be there over there with them during this uh, this time because it's usually a lot of fun to see them do the graduation and then you know have the uh, the summer break we usually do a little beach trip uh, like we have for the past two couple of years and I really miss doing that with them taking their summer vacation so uh, not much else going on here y'all stay safe uh, talk to you soon thanks bye